What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today we're playing some more Trials of Osiris, of course on Dead Cliffs this weekend. And today we're going to be on the Ark Hunter here. And this is probably my favorite loadout for Hunter, so why don't we go ahead and break it down. Of course, you know I love showing this exotic off to you guys. It's the Shinobu's Vow. How can you not love this? You get two skip grenades. When they do damage, you get energy back. It's just a very simple way to do a lot of damage to our enemies. Now we have some other stuff to kind of enable these uh, nades to be even better. And I'll show you that when we get to the actual Arc 3 0.0 breakdown but let's look at our mods first and you can see it's pretty simple stuff we got arc targeting and unflinching two of those i'm going to show you the gun we're using here in just a second but you should keep in mind that if you're using an arc gun and you get a double kill or any kind of multi-kill with an arc weapon on an arc subclass you are automatically amplified so keep that in mind you'll see it a few times in the gameplay today now we do have firepower heavy handed and reaper mods you can pause at any point if you want to read any of these mods more in depth but essentially we make orbs of power with our enhanced melee our grenade kills and getting a kill with a weapon after dodging for 10 seconds we can then pick up those orbs with two orbs of restoration mods these do have diminishing returns which means that each mod you have subsequent will do less energy gain for you but it's still fine to have two and then one absolution mod i finished that off with two bomber mods so we get 17 percent of our grenade energy back every time we use our dodge and that dodge has some good combos to help us go aggressive on our enemies and when we do go aggressive we're going to be using this shotgun right here now this is a shotgun that came into the game a while ago and i never really liked it too much but then i finally got this roll and i kind of just sat on it i tried it one time on the weekend that it really came out and i haven't touched it since so today i wanted to go ahead pick it up and see if i could have some fun with it and find some success and i gotta say this thing was frying people today it felt really good you can see i have smooth bore which is fine to use on shotguns nowadays and then i have accurized rounds slide shot and snapshot i wish i had like a range master work and stuff at least i have a adept range mod so that kind of helps out and then you know you get the extra range from the slide shot proccing so the range is very solid on this thing i believe it should come out to around 82 and we actually slide so it obviously feels really good and another thing that feels really good is fighting at a range on dead cliffs and we're going to be doing that with the long arm scout rifle now this is my favorite scout rifle in the entire game if somebody uses dmt i think they should go eat an egg but when they use long arm i want to kiss them on the little booty cheeks right i love this scout rifle so much it feels so good the sound design is awesome everything about it just i love it so much really fun perk combination here subsistence and explosive payload too so we have less damage drop off with the explosive payload and of course on a 120 rpm scout we already have a really far range where we actually get any kind of damage fall off. Obviously we have text balance stock too, so you can hit fire this thing a little bit better. It just feels so good overall. But what feels even better is the combos we have with those weapons with our Shinobu's Vow and our Arc 3.0. We have on Gathering Storm, you're not going to see too many of those in the gameplay because uh, you're just not getting them usually before the match ends, unless you have a higher intellect stat than I do. Now we're going to be using our Gambler's Dodge combo that goes with our Lethal Current and our Combination Blow. So how does this work exactly? Well, you use your Gambler's Dodge, that's going to proc your Lethal Current. Then you can blink into an enemy, because we are using blink, and you can punch them with this with a shotgun combination. That'll kill them really easily, it'll make you amplified. After that, since you kill them with your Combination Blow, it'll heal you, and you can instantly use your Dodge again. What you can do after that is use that Dodge again, to immediately proc lethal current again and then you go and you shotgun melee another person which you can get on top of them even easier because you're amplified now which gives you a speed boost and we get all these bonuses from flow state because we're amplified you i think some people either think that i'm on cocaine or i'm just obviously amplified all the time in real life because i talk so fast sometimes but when i get really excited and i'm just rattling these bills out to you guys sometimes i just start talking fast but i think you kind of get it all this is the combo that honestly i think i enjoy the most in the entire game because this entire kit when you play it like this feels so fluent but it's not just that close-up combat we can do we also have skip grenades here like we said with the shinobu's vow so we get that energy back from shinobu's if you do a bunch of damage with both your nades you essentially get one back for free and then we have our dodge to give us some bomber mod stuff back our orbs of power are giving us nade energy back but we also have something like our Spark of Recharge. When we get wounded, we get melee and grenade energy back. And on top of that, we have on Spark of Shock. So our actual nades right here are going to do shock damage to our enemies. And when Jolt damage goes off between enemies, it does around 50 to 52 damage, depending on kind of what their power level is and their resilience level. After that, we have on Spark of Instinct. So if we are near an enemy, we get critically wounded. We're going to emit a burst of arc energy that does jolt the target. So if we could kill them, we could get amplified off that. It only does around 10 damage. So don't expect this to really pick too many kills up or anything. But applying Jolt to enemies is always a really good thing, especially with good teammates. Finishing it off, we have Spark of Haste, so that's going to give us plus 30 to our Resilience, Recov, and Mobility while we are sprinting for a few seconds. When you are using an Arc Hunter build, you don't need a high Mobility stat because your dodge is going to recharge so fast based off of your Amplify, which you're always going to be proccing. 
So don't freak out too much about a high mobility stat, but if you want to run a higher one than this, then you can go right ahead and do so. I think we have everything covered, so we're almost ready to get in this gameplay. Before we do, if you have any questions about this build, please feel free to leave those in the comment section or join the Blinkville Discord server. I'm going to have that linked in the top right and in the description. If you want to go check out my second channel, I've been posting some Smite videos over there, and I've been growing like crazy over there. We've gained like 200 subs in the past few days, so if you want to go check those videos out, I think you'd really enjoy them if you enjoy how I do my videos here. But if you just want to watch this video today, you can't leave me a like, a comment, or anything and that's completely fine. Your view is all that matters to me and I really appreciate you being here. But I think we're ready to get in this gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and blink on into it. So yesterday in the Warlock video, I went absolute negative Roger mode, and I was just tearing Bungie a new one, going crazy even on people in the community, you know, not our community of course, I love you guys, uh, but just the Destiny 2 PvP community in general and how toxic they are, and just a whole swath of things going on other content creators, and how they've been ruining the community for a while too, just a lot of different stuff, because it was a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to say for a, lot of, a long time, and you guys had a very positive response to all of it, you agreed with everything that I said for the most part, and if you didn't, then you left me some nice resp respectful comments comments, you know, and we had discussions about it. So I really do appreciate that. And I want to say that this video is going to be positive. You know, we're going to be having a fun time in this one. And I do want to start it off by just saying thank you to you guys, because actually I got back on, you know, later tonight when, if you don't know, on Fridays, I get on and I record enough for two videos. I make my Warlock video for that weekend, my uh, build video, I should say, and then my Hunter build video. I don't always do them in that exact order, um, but this weekend I did my Warlock and then now I did my Hunter. And I went back on my Hunter, <laughs> and you know, based off what I saw earlier in the day, I was expecting to get my bussy eaten by like six homeless men at once. If you're into that, that's cool. I don't judge. And honestly, I might join you at some point, but it's not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, I actually don't even really like tea. I'm more of a hot chocolate guy myself. But when I got back on, I started getting in matches with a lot of you guys. Um, somebody like Beast, he's going to be later in here. Really cool. He, he came and he commented on my video and he was like, dude. I was just watching your video, I was about 30 seconds into your video, and suddenly I match you in the game, and I was like, bro, that's so freaking cool, <laughs> like, what the heck? I went back, I saw him in the footage as I was editing this video, um, and he unfortunately had a rage quit on his team, and it's just like, oh my gosh, but that, you know, that's, that's trial, so whatever. But then I saw a bunch of other cool people, um, not even just on my team, I got in this one match, there was a guy named Ver Verderer or something like that, Verderer, is like V-E-R, D-E-R-E-R, -E -E or something, uh, if you're, you're watching the video, then you know who you are, obviously, nice little moment right there where Blink doesn't actually fully go off and some lag and latency gets us killed. Fun! Good job, Bungie! <laughs> but uh, you know who you are if, if that's you, because I guess he DM'd somebody on my team, and the guy on my team goes into team chat, and I died one round because I got like frozen and stuff, and I was like, oh my god, you guys can help me a little faster. And the guy was like, Lamau. And I was like, it's okay. And he was like, yeah, the guy on the enemy team, by the way, says he loves you. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you, Tom. I love him too. <laughs> it was just so funny. But I just had a lot of really cool people, to be completely honest with you, while I was playing on my Hunter here. Um, that really brought my mood back up. So anybody that saw my matches that was just like talking to me, having a fun time, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Anybody who left me a kind comment uh, on that Warlock video, uh, you know, anybody like that, I really appreciate it. And a huge shout out to one of my subscribers, Grey Wolf, who I'm going to make a, a video specifically for because bro was talking to me. He talks a lot in the community. He's one of my favorite community members. You know, not that I have favorites. You guys are all my children and every parent doesn't have a favorite child. At least not one that they say out loud. But I really love Grey Wolf. He's a really cool guy. And he is just like, hey, where can I send you some money? How, how can I really help the channel out? And I was like, you can join the channel membership if you want to. But like, seriously, don't feel any pressure. You don't have to do that. Like, it's completely fine. I, I just I appreciate you as much no matter what. And he was like, no, no, I want to. I want to. And bro fucking goes and tips me 100 bucks. And I was like, what the heck, dude? So thank you so much to Grey Wolf. And it's just like, wow, it was crazy. So such as like a positive response and so much you know positivity going around in the community yesterday and i just wanted to say thank you guys because i really do appreciate that it made me feel really really good um so thank you guys a lot i sometimes it, you kind of lose sight of uh maybe what you've built because of a, a negative spot you might be in in life or things you have to deal with and sometimes when i have to deal with the shenaniganry of destiny 2 nowadays where Every time I feel like, like I pull my pants down to go to the bathroom, suddenly there's just like a carnivorous, you know, fly trap in front of me trying to suck my cock off. <laughs> and it's just, I'm not into that. So I don't quite go for it. 
but at, at the same time oh this is the match of the beast by the way rip rip to a real one right there sorry buddy but i wanted to show you guys this clip because i actually got amplified off that double kill there and that's what i was trying to tell you double kills with these arc weapons can be amplified very cool um but yeah as much as destiny or whatever else in life might beat me down i really am just endlessly appreciative for the community we've built and just how cool everyone is because my entire goal if i ever wanted to make a community was ever if i ever had the opportunity um, is always to make it as inclusive and positive and friendly as possible, you know, without being just like weirdly like walked over or something, you know, I still have my boundaries and with certain things like DMing me, like I don't have my DMs open on Discord, like you guys know that kind of stuff, but you still respect that and then you'll still be, you know, very positive and useful parts of the community. And I just endlessly appreciate that because the community I feel like I set out to make, I feel like has been accomplished and obviously we're still growing and i'm endlessly appreciative for that but i just wanted to say a big thank you to all because it's just really cool when you can uh kind of put everything in perspective for a second and then think and be like the whole picture in front of you and say wow like where we are right now from where we started is absolutely insane so again just thank you guys but hey that being said there's been some pretty good gameplay here too i felt like i was going pretty crazy on the hunter i was feeling pretty good with it and i was really enjoying the gameplay loop that this build does bring i was enjoying just throwing nades out like that lot watching them track you could see those nades track to the left so i knew there was going to be a guy there hit a nice three tap on him take him out use my dodge immediately so i can push forward with my blink dodge lethal current and my shotgun out i'm also amplified off that first kill because he was jolted when i killed him that's gonna let me slide in take this guy out easily i then blink atop of this guy because all he wants to do is backpedal me and then i did bag him a little bit look reptar I, i'm sorry bro I was caught in the moment. You just kept backpedaling me when all I wanted to do was slap my shotgun bullet straight down your pretty little throat. And there's something else I want to put down your pretty little throat. So if you want to make up, if you want to kiss and make up, I will put something else down your pretty little throat. And, and just in case you were wondering what it is, no, it's not my peepo. It is actually a popsicle that I bought just for you. And so, I mean, if, if that's like something you're interested in, then like hit me up bro because i fully down i'm fully down to like get crazy with it you know what i mean maybe um but anyways there was a lot of good matches that i had tonight a lot of good places and plays where i just felt like i was actually hitting my shots really effectively like that was a nice two tap there i saw a good opportunity to just chuck my nades in watch the nade energy in the bottom left by the way so we're gonna go and we get that first kill we take out the second guy we grab two orbs of power there i believe maybe it was just one but then we take out this last guy too we almost have a nade back up we also still have our dodge back up so we can just go into the next round and we already almost have those abilities back up. And with the 100 discipline, and then, uh, you know, having our dodge up already, we don't need to worry about those stats being too crazy. Like, you just get your abilities back so often, and it's just so easy to go in and be crazy with it. This match was kind of annoying because you can see on the enemy team, there's like, I don't I don't know what characters those are, like like Japanese characters. I'm, I'm not. I speak English, like the tiniest bit of Spanish. Like if I got lost in Mexico, after getting mugged a few times, I'm pretty sure I could probably get myself out of there and be like, oh, no hablo espanol, um, uh, soy Roger, and they'd be like, this guy's a fucking idiot, but he's kind of cute, and then somebody would eventually help me, not because the language barrier was crushed because of my superior intellect, no, I'm a fucking moron, but because I'm really freaking handsome, and they'd be like, let's kind of help this guy out, he might give us a smooch if we are his, you know, saviors while he's the damsel in distress, and it's true, I... Factually, and you can quote me on this. This is on my Wikipedia page, by the way. I will smooch anybody who saves my life in Mexico. That's just a fact. Like, that's a fact right there. So, you know, I've done it like 16 times before. And if you're wondering, how do I keep getting stuck in Mexico that much? It's, I keep going to too many bachelor parties, man. And it just gets crazy. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever got to the bottom of the tequila bottle and you, eat, you know, you drink the worm, but uh, <laughs> let me... It's, I, I'll, I could get in some legal trouble if I tell you too many, uh, too much of these stories here. But th the point is, be careful in Mexico if, if you're like me, because this shit gets crazy. Bro, shout out to another blinker in this match. I saw a good amount of other uh, blinkers throughout the day, but bro actually thought he could out blink the blink master. I had to show him, no, no, no. That's cute, brother. I don't even have my astrocyte verse on right now. I'm sitting on the blink hunter, but your boy's amplified. He just crushed the tiny little cockarooskies off of both of your teammates, and I'm coming for you next. So 
please go ahead and try to blink around me. As soon as I get enough damage on you, you're going to the fucking shadow realm. Same thing here. Oh, look, a little blinker. Boom, baby. You're out of the fucking realm of possibility, brother. And then somehow I'm trying to res this teammate, but he has some kind of ghost shell on that made me feel like I was staring straight into the Hulk's radioactive gamma infused asshole, and I couldn't see where I was anymore. So I don't know what the heck that is, Actually, I think I might know which shell that is, because people were freaking out about it a while ago. They were like, look at this ghost shell. And I think they were actually saying, like, if you use it in PvP, it actually has the chance to do that, like, blind people. And the fact that it's still a thing that happens, because I think Bungie actually nerfed it. It, it. Somebody can say that in the comments, tell me if I'm right or wrong. But I have, like, this distinct memory where Bungie went and they actually, like, nerfed that ghost shell. And I, it was one of the funniest things. Everybody was like, you can't nerf Titans correctly, but you nerfed a fucking ghost shell. And I was like... Yeah. Funny enough, they do the same kind of ridiculously hilarious balancing type things right now. <laughs> but it's just, oh my god. That shit was cracking me up. That was a good round right there, really. Smacked a little Kakaruskis off those guys. I don't, I don't know if that's my new road right now, you know. We developed Bussy, and now we're developing the Sling for Kak, which is just going to be Kakaruski. Which, honestly, I feel like has a pretty nice ring to it. Uh, that wall really clipped my nade there, and I just kind of stared at it for a second like, okay. Alright, you know, okay. Sure, whatever, but it's okay. We're just kind of sliding around, taking some shots. You know, I, I gotta say, I think the best thing about the long arm mixed with blink is just how sexy some of these plays can look. Watch this play right here. Blink in, pull out the long arm, do the little spinny spin, a boom, immediately aim down sights and one tap that guy to his noggin. You can't tell me that wasn't sexier than your fifth grandma removed because it definitely was. And you know, she's got them wrinkles in all the right places. That was a sexy Play. and you gotta love guns like that like if you've ever done a loadout with long arm and wastelander ooh, you should do that because every time you take a weapon out you're just like whoo, spinning them around you know all over your fingers you're just oh it looks so sexy if you've never done that before i highly recommend that build to you because one it's just two fun weapons two solid weapons that you can go crazy with but it's also just like some of the most stylistically beautiful plays you can ever make just like that right there bro saw me coming and he shit his pants and if you're like how do you know he did that i'll just give you a spoiler alert i could smell it it fucking reeked and so he's like i'm gonna hide behind this titan shield okay hide behind the titan shield here's what i'm gonna do here's my counterpoint um no um super no and i'm running through your titan shield and killing you bro thought he could snipe me and get away with it and then i would just roll over and die no nice snipe bro hop down here roger's gonna put a little clip in your face Bye bye, baby boy. And then I'm looking forward. I'm like, well, what are we go? We got here. Boom. Blink forward. Help the boys out. They got one pick right there. And I'm like, where's this guy going? And then I think he just kind of runs for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this round. This guy. Oh, no, yeah. I went crazy mode, baited him with the blink here. I made it. I did the blink. So he was like, oh, he's up in the air. And I used my little current first. And then I just mapped his shit. That's what I mean with this shotgun. Like, even without the slide shot with the extra, you know, like stability and range and stuff. The shotgun felt really good today, and I almost never mess with aggressive frame shotguns. You guys know I really, really like uh, lightweight frames, and besides that, if I'm not using a lightweight frame, look, another uh, lag abuser. Fun. Look look at that. Look where his ghost just TP'd back to when I killed him, and there's no ground underneath where he was uh, flying towards, but it's still funny that it flew all the way back there, like, uh, Bungie. But, um, well, what the heck was I just saying? I don't freaking know, dude. All I know is I'm going to kill this guy. Look at that. That's sexy, too. And then I'm looking for the last dude, and I'm like, okay. But then I kind of just use this round to get my super energy, and I have a really sexy super to finish this uh, video off for you guys, so I'll show you that in the next round. And then I actually die in the last round while I'm trying to clutch up because both my teammates get their shit smacked. And then the lag abuser just walks through half my pellets and lives. And I was like, okay. Sometimes you can only carry so much. It was like my last match of the day here, too. I went 16-3, and three, I believe, and my teammates couldn't even, like, barely go positive, and I was like, you know, it's okay. I had a lot of people apologizing to me through the day when they'd, like, be doing bad in the match, and I was like, it's fine. Just, you know, try your best, bud. Um, but, yeah, this is the last play for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this nice little two-piece right here, and that is going to do it for me today. So, as always, have a great day, Guardians.